uh, what we have is um, kids being not only indoctrinated but but groomed in, in, in a very real sense by people who are whether they know it or not sexual predators are they abusing the kids uh, physically N no i don't think so but they're abusing them mentally and use and using um sex to do so this has always been the problem with education is that teachers are uh, inclined particularly men because men are predators to uh, pedophilia and that's why there were strict um community strictures about it uh, thank God. So this started to break down when the schools said, you know what, we have to teach the kids about sex. Why? Because what if they don't do it at home? That was professional writer and stupid person David Mamet saying what he just said with a straight face to no pushback, by the way, from Mark Levin whatsoever. Now, I can't help but think that he's saying that he believes this because he's projecting because, I mean, I don't believe that all men are predators. I don't believe that teachers have an inclination towards pedophilia. So perhaps you think, well, since I'm a pedophile, everyone else, every other man must be like me. Therefore, of course, we should take these precautions to protect children. Except, no, not all men are predators. Most men are not predators. Where does this belief come from? And I think that it's becoming more and more evident that when the GOP talks about protecting children, they're projecting. I think that really what David Mamet said there is a microcosm of a bigger issue and we're starting to realize that all this talk of grooming by the GOP is beginning to blow up in their face because it's raising the public's consciousness about this issue and when we're actually looking into who's the real groomers, who's the real threat to children, well surprise surprise, more often than not it's uh it's Republicans. Now, what do they mean by grooming? We've talked about this on the show before, but to them, if you think that it's okay for kids to know that gay people simply exist, well, congratulations, you're a groomer. Because if Sally finds out that her classmate Steve has two dads, well, that's inherently sexual. Because if that kid knows that gay people exist, that implies that gay sex also exists. See, it's not grooming to point out that Sally has a mommy and a daddy. Because, you know, being straight is normal. But when it comes to gay people and trans people, well, apparently a lot of kids will want to try it out and be trans or gay if they just find out that it's a thing that exists. Just hide them away from the real world forever and you'll protect them. Except this is stupid and they're literally reviving the gays or predators myth all for some sort of political gain. And it has real world consequences. Homophobic attacks are increasing now as a result. Now, I only have anecdotal evidence, but if we look back at the data this year, next year, I'm assuming that you're going to see an increase in violence against gay and trans people because of their new tirade against groomers. And it's just, it's, it's sickening. Now, David Mamet isn't alone. That conversation did not take place in a vacuum. Other GOP figures are chiming in. For example, Laura Ingram set up a hotline so parents can report teachers who are supposedly grooming in the classroom. Trump Jr. retweeted an image suggesting that Disney is pro-pedophilia because, um, I don't know, I guess they just want to include more gay people and trans people in their movies, so that makes them pro-pedophile. He also retweeted J.D. Vance, who promised to stop calling people groomers when they stop freaking out about bills that prevent the sexualization of children. Now, maybe it's just me, but if my dad's name appeared on Epstein's flight logs, I might just sit this one out. I might not try to accuse other people of grooming when my dad has literally been accused of rape and is an alleged serial sexual harasser. But that's just me. Trump Jr. thinks that um, we shouldn't sexualize children, hence why he retweeted J.D. Vance. But Nobody is advocating for teaching kids about sex in grades K through three, which is what the Don't Say Gay bill prohibits. We're saying, though, that it's normal if kids find out that gay people exist. It's normal if kids find out that one of their friends has two mommies. It's a part of life. Gay people have and always will exist. Trans people have and always will exist. So hiding that away from children doesn't really make sense. You can have age-appropriate conversations about these things, but they don't want to do that because they're bigots and they're masking their bigotry by trying to pretend as if, you know, gay people by wanting representation, they're just groomers. But the problem is that all of this is beginning to blow up in the GOP's face 
because people are finding out who the real groomers are now. And it's because grooming actually is an issue in the United States. Child marriage in the United States till this day is a giant issue. Believe it or not, only six states have explicitly banned child marriages as UNICEF reports. And these states include Delaware, Minnesota, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. And as UNICEF further explains, between 2000 and 2018, almost 300,000 girls and boys in the United States were married before for their 18th birthday. And as Population Matters points out, 20 states allow marriage at 16 and 10 states have no age limit at all. So girls as young as 10 years old in the United States are getting married. Now that is sick. That is disgusting. Where's the outrage for this? If the GOP actually cared about grooming and protecting children, why wouldn't they want to protect against this? Instead, they're going against gay people. Well, I mean, if you want to protect children, pretending as if LGBTQ plus people don't exist isn't the most efficient way to reach that outcome. Now, here's what I would do if I were a Democratic Party lawmaker. I would introduce a, a bill immediately, and I would call it the Anti-Grooming Act, and this bill explicitly bans marriages for anyone under the age of 18. Now, any GOP lawmaker who purports to care about grooming, anyone, if they don't support this, we call them out. Why aren't you supporting this? You said that we need don't say gay because you're anti-grooming, but yet here you are not supporting this bill that would ban child marriages. It's almost as if the GOP doesn't actually care about grooming and they're choosing to turn a blind eye as their own party embraces pedophiles and predators time and time again. Now, Midas Touch put together a compilation that shows just how big of an issue pedophilia is in the GOP. And we're not talking about grooming, like we're talking explicitly about a pedophile problem that the GOP has. The stunning political scandal that is rocking Capitol Hill. Republican Congressman Mark Foley abruptly resigned Friday after questionable emails he sent to a teenage boy. Dennis Haster convicted of a financial crime, part of a scheme to mask something more egregious, his molestation of children. Hush money used to pay a man who says Haster sexually abused him when he was 14 years old. There are now five former Ohio State wrestlers accusing Republican Congressman Jim Jordan of knowing about a team doctor's alleged sexual misconduct. 43 men who say they were sexually assaulted, abused, molested, or harassed by Dr. Richard Strauss. George Nader. His criminal history included multiple convictions for child pornography and child molestation. This morning, a judge sentenced Ralph Shorty to 15 years in prison. Police caught Shorty in a hotel room with a then 17-year-old boy. Roy, more defiant as more accusers step forward, alleging sexual misconduct. This is the shopping mall where some say it was common knowledge and not a big secret that Roy Moore would flirt with teenage girls when he was in his 30s. One accuser says that Moore initiated a sexual encounter back in 1979 when she was just 14 years old. The new charges against Joel Greenberg. Sex trafficking of a minor and stalking a political opponent. Order Republican Congressman Matt Gates allegedly having a sexual relationship with a 17 year old girl investigators examining whether he quote violated federal sex trafficking laws Keelan Maxwell is accused of helping Epstein sexually abuse underage girls I've met her numerous times over the years especially since I lived in Palm Beach and I guess they lived in Palm Beach uh, but I wish her well Yeah, but yet gays are the problem and teachers have an inclination towards pedophilia. I think that's the way that David Mamet put it. I swear to God, every single thing that the GOP says about the left and gays and marginalized people, it's all projection. They're projecting. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So they're right. Grooming is an issue, but it's not gay people who are grooming. And it's not grooming if kids know that LGBTQ plus people exist. But what is grooming is when disgusting Republicans, straight men, marry children the second it's legally permissible for them to do so. And what's particularly disgusting is how folks like Josh Hawley will claim it's Kentaji Brown Jackson. It's the left, right? 
This was his whole tirade. Claim is that she's soft on, you know, sex crimes. And smear her that way. Marjorie Green said that, you know, anyone who supports her is pro-pedophile. But yet, she hangs around with Matt Gates. So it's always, you know, uh, everyone else is the bad guy, but they never look at themselves. But this is actually a real issue. So the GOP, I don't trust them around children. They're the ones who are grooming. They're the ones who are oftentimes predators. It's not gay people who are propagating this issue. It's the same with the, you know, trans bathroom myth. How many straight men have been arrested for being predators. Republicans in particular have been arrested for being predators compared to trans people. It's kind of something that uh, is a little bit telling, is it not? But yeah, you know, as they continue to talk about grooming, I uh, eagerly anticipate it blowing up in their faces more as more of their dirt gets revealed. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching, so I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.